I can't say that the uh, CB install was difficult. It was a pain in the butt, though. It was a real pain in the butt. Um, but not hard. Kind of disappointed in that I've lost my cup holder. Uh, I've got to talk to Baker Bikes about that. They told me that I could use their holder with the CB when I bought it a year ago. And I'm just now getting around to installing the CB and I can't use it. But all in all, I think it went really well. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put the videos together as the videos are. Uh, they may be good. They may be bad. I hope that they can help you if you decide to do it. But all I mean, all in all, it's a pretty clean installation. And hallelujah, it didn't take up, up all the space in the right side saddlebag. Not like the amp does in the left. Um, yeah. Honda, they made the bike a little bit too long, too small. And it is what it is, but I sure like riding her. I hope this helps all of y'all. And if you have any questions, let me know. Be glad to help if I can. I didn't bother to go into great details on opening the, the bike up. I kind of figured if you can't get the side panels off or the center shelter or the trunk, then maybe you shouldn't be doing this. I don't know. But also because there's there's a lot of videos out there and a lot of information. I mean, I, there's a couple of shortcuts I gave you in the video that I do because I don't remove the radiator shrouds and Honda says to a lot of the videos out there say to I going why uh, that's just more nuts bolts and screws to take off. I also show you how I color coded all of the shoulder bolts. Uh, absolutely hate them. You know, be absolutely careful every time you go to screw the sh shoulder bolts in and make sure it's centered in that hole because it will just eat that plastic and elongate the hole. Uh, big bitch I have for, for Honda. So anyway, yeah, like I said earlier, um, I'm not going to go to great lengths to edit this, this video. I already have the antenna installed. I'll add some pictures of the end. Uh, of my antenna installation, but I didn't videotape it. It was it was pretty straightforward. All of the places where you need to uh, cut the holes, drill the holes, they're marked on the bike. So that was pretty simple and pretty you know pretty upfront. Okay, Take well care. I've already started everything. I've removed the two side panels. I've taken the cover off of the, the uh, handlebar here. And now I'll get go get stuff out of the box. Okay, well I've got the shell off. Now I don't take this lower por portion off with it. I leave it on the bike, unlike some people. And I'm looking at the instructions here. And it shows that the connector for the, the uh, harness is below here. So they're taking the ECM off the engine control module. And I'm trying to find the connector I'm supposed to have and I don't know where it is. When I get the handlebar or cable routed down, it's gonna come up and come up through here. It must be teeing into one of these, must be what it's doing. Yeah, because they've got the, that one off of the stay there. Okay. So, let me get the center off, get the control panel off, and move on. Okay, so I've got my towel. I'm going to just lay this guy right back down over here. Now I've got to take out these two screws. Now I've got the hella bars installed. Okay, so anyway, I have the hella bars installed, so I had to modify this cover. Got to take this guy off. Which is easy enough. Two Phillips screws. This is where I have my USB 1 cable routed to is up here and then this goes over here to my phone that I plug into the harness and uh, that works well and then if this cable goes back I, bad I can easily change it here or 
if there's a firmware update then this is where I would plug in my USB flash card flash drive all right so let's work on this now and the routing of the cables okay so I've got the switch in my hand two pieces I've never done this before I know that this mounts on the bottom down here and this one's going to clip right over there just like that and then I've got the the backing to it here like so and I guess before I do that this cover comes off get up here where you can see it this cover comes off if I don't break it gentle gentle there it is so that's going to go on like so yeah <clears throat> pull that down a little bit it's already keyed for where it needs to go okay. now I want my cotton head screws Just dropped everybody. Grab that. Okay, so I've got everything in my hand again. So there's two notches here on this, and so it's going to sit in those notches, and it's and then it's latches. It closes down, and there's a screw that's going to go up and through the bottom to lock it in place. But for now, I don't need that. This is sloppy. Sorry, I haven't done this before. So anyway, let's try this again not dropping anything it's just going to screw right in there get that one started get that one started is that and then we're going to take our switch it's now jammed down there <laughs> yeah this is so i'm so graceful and we're going to slide those into their hinges in the back one two buckle my shoe she goes she's not clipped into the bottom though there it is now it is now you get the screw that screws up in the bottom so I got me a little stubby screwdriver for this one goes right up through there and that's what's gonna hold it on that's that the kid has this big long screw and we're going to replace it down here with this one here the lower one let me take that one out and if you look on the bottom here there's two holes This is actually probably the easiest part about all of this. So we're going to take that guy out and replace it with the long one. And this guy has these two little clips. Actually, I think I'll, I'd like to see that underneath that bundle. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this bundle out. This tight. light 
tuck that under there. So now she's on top here. And then on the bottom are the two holes. So that just clips in those two holes. You get the wires into this little trough there. And then snug that up to there. Up. A little bit of a pain in the butt. I don't want to crimp those wires, that's for sure. Get down in there, guys. There you go. they just sit there yeah they don't they're they're in they're kind of weird whatever I thought maybe they slid into a slot but they don't and it still looks good there switch here's my cable I want to do the same thing I think I want it underneath these two to dress it out so they flow together just like that get the big guy back down get that one down start the routing down to here. I go ahead and grab this cover and put this cover back on. Okay, everything looks good there. Get one of my screws going here. covers on the old wings and a little plastic piece of tied it together and locked it in like 50 bucks to replace that goofy little plastic I'll get that started and then I'll clean up these wires Just friggin' time consuming. Okay, there's my hole. Make sure I don't strip it out. Feels good. Gonna wharf 
down on these. Just get them tight. Size plastic. Okay, so far so good. There's the switch installed. And no freaking place for me to put my cup holder. Yippee, oh well. So I think this is a connector, I'm not sure. We're gonna unplug that and see if it will work. Not many pins there. This is my cable from the... That's not gonna plug, the only idea is. So that one goes there. And this one must go here. So it just wise in place. Now I'll clip that one back on. Yeah, perfect time to send your ECU out and have it flashed. And now I'm gonna have two connectors here. Before I only had one. That was where that one always was. That's where that one always was. I'm going to mount the ECU back. And then see what to do with this other extra big connector. Don't have a mount for it now. Yeah, it's kind of hokey. Okay, well, this is where I wide in. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this connector back where it was, which was right here. And then this one I'm going to just secure down here and put a tie, tie wrap on it in here somewhere. Got a couple of these ones. Which is kind of what it shows in the directions. And the ECM, ECU, whatever, whatever goes back into its home. It's all pretty secure in there. I'll cut that tie wrap off in a little bit. Get another tie wrap here and I'll go ahead and... Yeah, I don't think I need to. It's good. Go ahead and get my cover here. This edging that I used was actually off the old wing. It was on an engine side cover and it worked perfectly for cleaning up the edges of that. Screw this one all the way in, it didn't feel good. 
so I'm going to take it back out. I think it's a little cross threaded. One thing is I hate about steel and aluminum. It's so friggin' easy to cross thread them. There it is. I think. Yep. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on that and help clean that up. Be right back. I have found that if I have a shoulder bolt or a bolt that feels like it's trying to cross thread, if I put a little bit of lubricant on it, it helps to get it going correctly. Yeah, that feels great now. Don't know why, just does. And then we'll flip this little puppy back around. Lock that in. Get the wire bundles back down below. And this side should be fine since I didn't dip with it. There that is. Let me put my two my two yellow shoulder bolts in. Look at that, two yellow shoulder bolts. One, two. Kinda cool, I think. It helps me. I want to take this cable, I want to put it underneath this connector. If I can do that now, slide that off, push that down, and pull that back on. Maybe. Come on, get in there. Okay, you're going to make me pull this out again. That's okay, that's easy. Yeah, that's much better. That's a lot cleaner. Get that cable tucked back out of there and out of the way. And if you hadn't changed your air filter, I have recently changed mine, but this is the perfect time to change that air filter too. Even if it's only been off 10,000 miles, change it now because it's going to be a pain later to take this all apart again. There we go. I just need to cut that off and we're done on the front end besides putting it all back together again. Since I'm doing this in real time, I gotta confess, I uh, had a spare part, this little spacer, and it actually goes right inside here. And normally I wouldn't confess screwing up, but you know, don't want you guys to screw up too, so take that back out. Spacer goes right on there. And back in we go. Let's get my cable fixed. Come on, you little wart heart. There you go. Thank you. Nope. Don't come out. Get in that hole. There you go. keep some flat black and some glossy black paint around here and lots of q-tips and 
what I will do is I will touch up that screw ever so lightly with some black paint. Push to talk. Squelch, CB, on, off. Yeah, so that looks good. Sure, I'm gonna miss my cup holder, dang it. Well, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and do a little bit of playing. Here's the actual radio. And this guy's gonna end up pl plugging into right here. So this cap's gotta come off. Like so. I wanna save that. And this guy is going to plug into there. Maybe this way. Nope, it goes the other way. Of course. I'm going to put the connector on the bottom, so there's that. Now I need to find this. I already plugged those to the radio. But somewhere buried down in here is another capped off connector. Of course, this is all my wiring stuff for the lights. What a friggin' mess all of that is. This is my USB 1. This is an extension cable running up to the front. And so somewhere buried down in here is a cable I need to get my hands on. And I'm going to go dig for it, and I'll be back when I find it. Down there somewhere. This is it. Take the cap off of it. Yep, there it is. God, it gets so dirty in here. So, it should be an operational CB. And just for the fun of it, since we're playing, let's try it. Just happen to have a handheld here. And it's on channel 10. Let's see what happens with the bike. Oh, I gotta go get the key. Let's go to accessory. It should work on accessory. Look at that. Channel select. Let's go to channel 10. Yeah, 10. See if my radio's. Yep, there we go. I want my radio there. Push to talk. Click him. I don't have my headset on, so I don't expect it to do much. Hello? Yeah, it works. Your feedback. One, two. I wonder where the volume on it is. That's interesting. It says push to talk, right? But it's a pull to talk. You guess push to talk this way, maybe? I don't know. It's kind of hokey. Anyway, whatever. It works. It's alive. And it just is going to work on anything. Hello? One, two, three. Yeah, kind of cool, I guess. I like talking to semis when I'm on the road see if there's any additional settings there I don't see anything it's just simply alive and then CB off maybe CB still on there you go hold to turn it off okay well that's good well I already installed the antenna so we're not going to do that again but I am going to Loosen these the trunk bolts so I can pick it up a little bit. I don't have to take them completely out, although I may. And that one's completely out. side support for the antenna. It was actually pretty easy to do. 
but everything that I'm doing now is going to be down on this right trunk. So that one's out. But now I have modified my speaker cover here. Trax Max at Traxon came up with a good idea. There's a screw underneath there. And when you pull this cover off, it's really easy to uh, scratch it. And so we drill it out and you put it in a push pin. And I just happen to have lots of push pins. And what I'm going to do is I want to lift that up. Let me go get something else to do it with so I can keep this from sliding back out on me. Since it's a tough one that likes to slide. But that just gives me more clearance here to get that this cover off. And now I'm going to work on taking it off. And fortunately, back here, all of the um, shoulder bolts are the same length, which is amazing. Okay, found my Phillips and took a little break. Let's go throw those in there for now. Now if I can squeeze her out. I'm not sure if I have to take anything else apart. I might have to. Yep, I do. I got a push pin back there. Okay, yep, I got a push pin right here. I'm gonna have to get out for that one. So I'm gonna take this cover off, which means I gotta take these side panels off. And since I already I gotta get these push pins out here. One, two, three. And the two front ones are normal, and the rear one is a big one. Big old huge honking one. And I need my Phillips. Let's take the, this one out. I do not like these plastic screws. Can't stand them. I actually have one that's a little stripped out down here on the bottom. So you would have to take out three of them. I only have to take out two because it's broke. I had this divider in and it, it was just too tight and pulled it. Yeah. I like that divider, but yeah, whatever. So now that that's done, I'm gonna pull this out. And I just want I'm not gonna take the whole thing off. I don't want to. I just want to get it off enough, I hope, that I can get to that push pin and get this lower cover off. So I need to do this one too. This is where I've got my DVR installed for the cameras. Oh, look at that, it just came to life. Oh, it's recording me. Yep, I can see the garage door from here. disassemble it as little as possible and if I can get away with it and those are all the same size so it doesn't matter I'm gonna 
have my flashlight here. I do have a camera underneath here. So I'm going to have to take him loose probably. Let's see if I can get this lower panel off. Maybe not. In this one with more. You just realized was it's the antenna that's keeping it from coming loose. the ones that were inside so I don't have to worry about it that's the GPS for the cameras there we go see how that does that will loosen it up a lot better yeah oh yeah well, you fool. No wonder it wouldn't pop off. There's two more screws. I remember those now. <laughs> Boy, is this hit and miss maintenance or what? It's okay. It just is what it is. cable hang down and put this around I'm just looking for my there we go I'm using this file for the push pins whole friggin skirt off trying not to Body parts start hitting. connector down here. Is it this one? That's for the switch panel here. Oh, 
too much stuff. If I get my finger underneath it, I get it off the hook. Is that it? Yep, that's it. did not leave us very much room for stuff, did they? how dirty it gets. Just filthy. Just gross. Okay, Honda's telling me to pull this screw out. Well, there's two. And it kind of shows Three. Of course, maybe even more. But I'm thinking, let me look at it here real quick. It's showing one, two, three. Oh no, all four. All the silver ones come out. Taking this apart before it be what am I looking at here? Yep, there's a plug. So it's held on the cable. And that one is right underneath that big plug there. Right here. short break here. I'm just trying to route the cable down the top here. There's that. Inside these rails or the seat will hit it. Yeah, there's lots of room here, huh? What a pain. I think Honda shorted us some space, to tell you the truth. Whew. And that's going to go down that hole. Side. 
And I'd like to know what this is for. I think I unplugged something I shouldn't have unplugged. And I don't see a mating connector to it. Let me see what's inside this guy. I'll disconnect these guys just to get me some room. the CB and that was this guy here so I'm going to tuck him down here and run him over there too I think for the CB. I'll pick up in a second. Still want to know about this one. Not sure what that one's for. Okay. You know, get some alcohol for this. I always like, you know, they say dish soap, so I always use alcohol, rubbing alcohol, because it will evaporate. Okay, so I've got this routed down to here, and there's a hole just after that this one that's for the CB antenna so I'm going to pop that plug out and try to throw it in there and here's my CB cable and that's going to go right down through there too we'll do it first try to well, there's just no room in here for anything. I don't have to take that knockout out. There's a little place here for everybody to run through. And I always use rubbing alcohol, so I'm just going to spray some on there. Get everything all wet. I can feel where it's not setting. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> no. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah, that was fun. Let's gonna get these out of my friggin' way. Troublemakers. Yeah, go away. And then we'll do the big one. Lord have mercy. Now I need to get this pushed down. up in a second now down in here there's a little split there there we go right there that they need to just hang out of screws back in here looks like they're all the same size this has to go behind that bracket Cliff, my neighbor, he works on a tugboat, so he's gone two weeks and home two weeks and gone two weeks. It's pretty icky weather out there right now, just going on the tug. That's his life, though. <laughs> it's going to be a miracle if this all still works when we're done. Maybe it's going. It's fine thread. Yeah, I don't think that's going.
Okay. Here's all the stuff that came in the kit with it. And we got a big rubber band, which with time is not going to work, I'm sure. And I'm going to assume it's going to be this hole here, since it looks like it's made for it. back tape on it yep right. so far doesn't look too bad kind of goofy but whatever wires look good let me go get the black cover for it and we'll put that on dress out these cables a little bit they're a little twisted I don't really like it and all of this is going to have to be up here at the top where the, the, the cover has is open at the top so all this little wire it's a big wire so we're gonna kind of perch everything up that way it's not like right in there okay this bracket with one little bitty screw and it's going to go right here is showing that it wraps around it this away that seems a little goofy to me but what the heck we'll do that anyway we'll do what they're showing monkey see monkey do and this guy goes over all of that mm, that, those are, all those holes line up pretty darn good yeah that'll close up fine I got a bunch of screws for that. Let's start with this one. Let's get it started.
wood screws, plastic screws. I can't stand them. Whatever. It's clean. It doesn't take up too much space. I mean, it's pretty clean. Poor motorcycle. Gotta clean up all the mess I got up top side. And I do want to figure out what this is. Let me go find those colored wires. I just don't know if I unplug something and I don't see where it goes. I don't see any loose connectors down there. That's all easy to put back together. Get my USB cable hooked back up. Get the seat on. Get all this put back down. piece of cake okay just trying to clean up this mess here and get everybody situated back in where they need to be I, I guess this goes to nothing I don't have a clue what that connector is for I'm just going to tuck it right here That's USB 2. I have it running into the trunk. Since I have one running to the front. Let's see if I can unplug it. God, I wish they would have put the, the stupid releases on the top, not the friggin' bottom. What are they thinking, you know? Let's see if I can get that. There we go. I want to kind of run this underneath these guys. Years. I mean, they're just the friggin' bane of my existence. Here we go. Gotta keep this clear. So now I gotta get these guys over. I gotta get this connector hidden back away. these guys tucked back down. Get that connected onto its hook. And this big guy, he's gonna have to go all the way over way back under yep, gotta clear that stop there now 
I'll get this sooner or later. It's just going to take some patience and moving this stuff around. Get everybody settled in place. So I can get the seat back on. Okay, let's go ahead and clip this guy on here now. If I can. New one? Yeah. Get the pigtail off of it tucked under. Guys, got to move way over there. There we go. Okay, well, I'll be back. A couple of big ties here that I'm going to use on these guys to. Yeah, I don't know. Got to keep this clear right here. This is stay out area. be okay I went ahead and put my USB cable here uh, I think I'm gonna put some heat shrink on that uh, this gets so filthy under here I'll go ahead and heat shrink that and protect that cable yeah I never did figure out what this is three open pins I don't know so I've got to go find that connector in the manual uh, red, black, white, looks like a solid white, a red and silver and a black. I don't know. Everything's working, so I don't know. This is for the connect the panel here. That should be stuffed away good enough for it. Okay, I'm gonna kind of Ready to start putting everything together. I was kind of cleaning everything out. But it looks good. I mean, a little, it doesn't take up a lot of room. I was a little bit concerned about that. Just a little bit. And uh, I finished cleaning up the wires back here. Everybody's tucked away and ready. The seat should clear without a problem. Got to get that connector hooked up when I put this top in which is right here got to plug in the connector for the door that's in you have to lift that back up and I need to run this underneath the frame or just take it out I mean, my gosh there's just no room so let me get that run underneath the frame and then I'll be back because that's going to take a little bit of work. Okay, everybody's cleaned up. We're going to put some heat shrink around my USB cable. I ended up running it this way because this is just busy, busy, busy over here. Now I'm ready to get this guy on. And this is a cable the connector for this guy. He's on. Good. <clears throat> this guy back in here and underneath the, the trunk there we go finish screwing it together but yeah it's a lot I mean it wasn't this wasn't really a hard installation it's just a pain in the butt Whew. okay well Burr End is done once more 
all cleaned out and uh, everybody's back on, everybody's tight, everybody's in good shape. Everybody works. Yeah, look at that, still works. It's a miracle. All these are real clean. I think they look really good. I wish I would have done a little bit different with the CB antenna, but it will be fine. Yeah. It's all real clean. I might add a tie wrap here for my USB cable. A little baby tie wrap or maybe even run it underneath. Now I can't, yeah I can, I can disconnect it here. Run underneath this cable. Yeah, that would be even better. But that looks good. Seats go on with no problem. That one needs to be nestled in the back. Trunk's all back together. back together cameras filthy dirty whole bikes filthy dirty it's just been raining and raining around here lately yeah that looks good this is the caps and then the handle up here looks good all the wiring is good so tomorrow I can put the shell on and make it a motorcycle again uh, a lot of this is where I've got a USB adapter up here where I can use it to charge my camera or whatever also tells me the current voltage I don't ever take these shrouds off for the fans um, I try to take off as little as I can yeah but that was fun that was, a, that was a pain in the butt but she's looking good and man I love this motorcycle I hope that video helps you guys you know let me know if you need any help or have any questions. See ya.